<laughs> so there are some scholars, and amongst them some Mormon scholars, that strongly believe that the wedding of Cana was the wedding of Jesus himself. And <laughs> what? <laughs> and that he married Mary Magdalene, Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus. That's what? insane. Where is this written? Yeah, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. The source of all true information. Oh. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding, and when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the matter of purifications of the Jews, containing twenty or thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said to him, Every man in the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior. You have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Welcome to the Wedding Church at Cana of Galilee. Many people believe that this is the actual place where Jesus turned the water into wine, what is also believed to be his very first miracle. What is also neat about this place are the ruins of a 4th century synagogue underneath. Today, however, a Catholic church stands on top of those ruins and this church went through some major renovations and archaeological research in the second half of the 1990s until 1999. Now since Jesus attended a wedding here about a couple of thousand years ago, many couples and vow renewers come here and enjoy a ceremony of their own. Cana is also known to be the hometown of Nathaniel Bartholomew. Remember him? The one in John 1, 46, who asked Philip, does anything good come out of Nazareth? Referring to Jesus, he then became one of the disciples of Jesus. So this Orthodox church here was built after him, and they claim that they even have his bones that he's buried here too. He was a child. I don't know. In the wine, I'm a man, 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 I'm Uh, oh. Ice coffee. You look like you like this place. You do some shopping. I got the coffee. Right here. Let's go. This is Israel. Much took place here, and much is still to come. Dried from swamps, re-inhabited, restored to its former glory, and ready for its king to come. 
we are mighty blessed to be witnesses in these final days. So join us next episode as we explore the town of Mary Magdalene and get to dip our feet in the Lake of Galilee. I think I found something. What did you find? No way! Wow! Man, 2,000 years and this could be the thing!